Hello YouTube. Uh, here again with another uh, this time a Pentax lens and another thrilling adventure of too broke to pay somebody else to do it. Uh, this lens uh, when I got it it had fungus inside of its elements. Um, I got it in a, a whole box lot of stuff. Um, and being that it was filthy and had fungus in it, I thought this would be a great one to experiment on. I looked online, I couldn't find anything that was specific to this particular style of lens. Uh, I'm not familiar with different models of lenses, but this one is uh, Asahi Optical Company Japan uh, SMC, which is super multi-coated, Pentax uh, M, one uh, one, two, three point five, 135 millimeter. Um, and I found some that were similar but not exactly the same. This one has a built in lens hood. And that seemed to be a, a pretty big difference in lenses that I could find that uh, I needed instruction in disassembling. So I had to figure it out myself. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did to get the the uh, fungus out of it, and if you have one, hopefully this will be helpful. Now the first thing that I did, I had to learn all this stuff as I went. I had to get myself a pair of pointy dividers, and I took off. Now, again, bear in mind this is a great way to destroy any lens or. or camera or whatever you're working with. Uh, you can see already I've made some scratches on it. I've already done this so I, I'm, I'm not going to go through the cleaning process. I'm just going to show you how I took it apart. So I found a couple of spots where I could get the uh, points of the divider in. And I unscrewed the outer ring like that. And that exposes, uh, I don't know how to describe it, it's, it's a ring, a threaded ring that holds the outer level, uh, element in place. <clears throat> I'm not going to take that one out because this one kind of sucked to get out. And you can see again, scratch marks from where I took a similar tool to this. And I, after several attempts, got this thing to start to unscrew very slowly. I got it out and I took the ring out, I had the lens in my hand, I cleaned that element, I cleaned the inside uh, or the outside of the inner element. And I did that and then I put this, I'm going a little out of order here, I didn't put this thing back together until I had everything cleaned. took a little bit of play in to get this thing to go in there. That might be crooked. I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, but that's how I did that. I unscrewed that. I got that inner ring out. And my light, hmm. Let me show you something else. A lot of the lenses that I did find that had instruction for for uh, disassembly were a little different than this one. this, you can't really see it in the picture, but going down in here, it goes way down inside, uh, which other lenses did not seem to do. So, in any event, got that lens out, I cleaned it, all three surfaces, put it back together, and on this side, it's got one, two, three, four, five screws, 
and using a JIP screwdriver that's Japanese industrial standard in case you didn't already know that I loosened I say removed I know my hands in the way these five screws here. Now for this, all I had to do was unscrew this cone here. Took that out. There's a ring here also. Undo that ring this is a two element piece take that ring out keep track of which way that lens is it's concave on one side and on one side convex on the other took that out cleaned up both sides of that cleaned up both sides of the other element reassembled that put the ring back in there screwed it back together and I like to shake them a little bit to see if they're loose I use my fingernail tap them to see if they move around at all. It did not. Now for the last element, I opened up the aperture all the way and I took my trusty q-tip and some actual lens cleaning fluid, got in there, got it wet, scrubbed it up a little bit, got all the, the fungus off and then with the dry end I dried it up a little bit then balled up a piece of uh, lens cleaning paper, stuck that in there and used that to mop it up uh, and make it pretty darn close to um, streak free as I could get. That's, I think I did a, a pretty good job. Uh, the nice thing about this is I marked this ring when I took it off and then when, when you're done you screw this thing back in. just want it snug and this too has notches in the sides so you can get a tool on there and crank it out it's going to be tight the first time you do it and I see I left behind a little piece of fuzz so one of the nice things about this is I marked this thing when I first took it off which it turns out I didn't have to do because it really only goes back together one way and that's this tab here goes in there I don't know if you can see that, that tab, that slot, go together. Then you just got to line up the screw holes. Look at that screw crooked in there. Okay. Once you get the first one, you'll be good. And bearing in mind, you don't want to over tighten these. It's like two fingers is snug enough. And then you finish screwing those down. Pick up the screws you drop.
sure that still works. And you are left with a clean, as clean as it's going to get, lens that otherwise would have been trash. Um, with not a lot of effort. Once I figured it out, it was very simple. And the lens is clear. It, it works beautifully. It's very smooth. Uh, all the aperture settings work great. I kind of like that built-in lens hood. Uh, I don't know how old the lens is. Um, if it has a specific model, I don't know what it is. 